Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we have a super simple recipe, marinated goat cheese. And we will start Rachel's recipe right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so today we've got a super, super easy recipe, and it's using something that we both love. Which is goat cheese. I love goat cheese. I love goat cheese. And I like fancy pants marinated goat cheese, yeah. but it can get pricey. Yeah, when you go into the store, some of those marinated cheeses, like my new thing is like marinated mozzarella cheese. Mm. So good, but yeah, so expensive. So uh, I actually came up with a little recipe for marinating your own goat cheese at home. So this is not a so easy, even Rachel can do it recipe. No, this one is so easy, even Joe can do it. <laughs> I don't have a promo slide for that. Ah, uh, you can throw mine in. But this is so easy that Rachel actually made the recipe. Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna put a link for it down below and we'll put it up on our website. We'll even put Rachel's recipe across it. How's that sound? Mm, that sounds really nice. Well, let's get into it. What are we gonna need? Obviously, we're gonna need goat cheese. You're gonna need some goat cheese. You're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil. Okay. You don't have to have one in a pretty bottle like this, but isn't this pretty? I got this from Costco. It was like holiday time. They were like getting rid of them. They had a good sale on them. It's just a uh, col, what is it? Cola Vita olive oil, but it was in this nice bottle. And what I liked about it was that, yeah, it's like not clear, which helps preserve the oil and you don't like lose all of the good qualities to it. Just so pretty. You're gonna need some black pepper. I like the fresh ground. Yeah, so we don't really even measure out with black pepper anymore. We just kind of do a couple, couple of twists and judge it by eye. Well, today you're going to have it measured out. Okay. Um, then you have Italian seasoning. We just use Badia. Is that how you say it? Badia? Badia. Yeah, any kind of Italian seasoning. So basically oregano, parsley, little bit of uh, basil in there. And some salt. Okay, we Redmond's. Like Redmond real salt. Now our new thing, usually we use table salt, but we've really gotten into the kosher salt. I like that grittiness of the kosher salt. Plus we've got 25 pounds of it to eat up. So we're gonna finish yeah. it off. Any kind you want. So the first thing you're gonna need is a bowl. A bowl. Because we are going to roll our goat cheese in this mixture. Okay. So it's gonna start off with olive oil. You're gonna need one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. This is weird that I'm like making it. Okay, so one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of the Badia Italian seasoning mix. Any kind of Italian seasoning though, right? So mm -hmm. you can make up your own. You can just use, like I said, oregano, basil, now, I know you said you don't measure out your black pepper, but today we're going to measure out a half of a teaspoon of black pepper. You know, me cooking is very different than you cooking because I'm like, just throw some in. That's about enough. You don't want me eyeing these things. Okay. And then last but certainly not least is one teaspoon of your Redmond Real Salt. Now, I know that you don't generally measure salt. No, but today we did. Okay. So let's get you a little spoon. I got one over here. Mix that all together. Okay. And then you are going to put your goat cheese into that mixture and just really just roll it around. Okay. Now we're using... Uh-oh, I broke it. <laughs> so we're using four ounces of goat cheese. That was just the Walmart package size of goat cheese. Okay, I'm using my fingers. Enough of this. <laughs> well, you're going to be the one eating it, so... <laughs> okay. Get it all rolled around and totally covered. Yep. And once you do, you can put this in the refrigerator in a covered dish for an hour. So 
the longer you marinate it, the better it's going to taste though, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my So goodness. we're going to let it go for a couple days, right? Because we have some made already. Yes, we have some made to show you. Okay. So here is the finished product. And as you can see, it's pretty beautiful. I love, this is a great way to serve it. Like these little white dish, if you're going to have a little party or something like that. No. Not that we're allowed to have parties right now. No, but. no parties right now. <laughs> I like it with a little bit of pepperoni. I also like it on top of our hamburgers. I mean, it just tastes really good on eggs. It's it's just a great condiment. Are we going to try this? Yes. Because we haven't tried this yet. Or we haven't tried this batch we yet. We haven't tried this batch. Okay. So what we did is we actually drizzled a little bit of the oil across the top after we put it on this plate. It, it gives it a nice little presentation kind of thing. It's beautiful. Right? Ready? Dunk. Mmm. Wow. It goes all the way through yep. that goat cheese. And I like the salt. Oh, me too. Putting that little bit of salt on the outside. And you could probably do this with any kind of spice you want. You don't necessarily have to make it only, you can do like some garlic, add a little bit of garlic salt in there or garlic powder in there. Any kind of flavor that you want to maybe infuse into this cheese, it's gonna taste delicious. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Good job, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Well, that is our video for today. Uh, like I said, I will leave a link down below for the recipe, very, very simple. Again, so simple that even Rachel could make this recipe. I love it. Do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon that way. Every single time I come up with something, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.